Hi there, in this video I want to look at the tries to quad tool so another edit mode tools that we're going to look at I'm going to tab into edit mode here to view this mesh you can see that it's now uh, all triangulated in some seemingly random way and we're going to see if we can make uh, some sort of sensible quad topology out of this using this tool so Trice Quads is uh, available under the face menu here, right there. It also has a shortcut key, Alt-J. And as usual, you can hit space and uh, you can type Trice to Quads and it appears right there. The tool with will only affect the selection. So if I go in and select everything or just a portion, well, that's up to every particular use case, of course. Well, let's select everything here and just Alt-J or use the menu in this case and these are by default set to 40 degrees um, and this operate menu determines what uh, in what way this will be triangulated so this value here max shape angle is probably the one that we uh, the easiest to understand we can see that if I move this to zero uh, everything is still triangles so it's kind of a threshold of uh, the uh, angles here that's going to be turned into quads. We just move this further and further up and it will um, triangulate as much as it can. You can see that, in, for instance, here we still have a triangle and that's because we don't have supporting geometry to actually make all of these into quads. This max face angle though is uh, kind of a mystery because it seems to not be uh, documented but uh, it seems to allow um, Blender to change into other variations of uh, angles here so I'll just uh, leave it at that all the checkboxes here they will have Blender respect whichever data uh, it represents here so if I say compare UVs um, the new topology will um, respect the UVs that we have for this object. So in this case, um, the UVs goes across here. So it will respect this this edge here, which is uh, part of the UV map. Vertex color, uh, seams, sharp, and materials. So it will try to maintain the topology for whichever data you want here. And uh, that is it for the uh, triced quads uh, tool it's pretty simple to use and uh, can sometimes be useful if you need to uh, work or take a triangulated uh, mesh and uh, try to continue to work on it after for instance maybe it's a, a photo scan or something that you you want to try to turn it quads and you can try to use this tool uh, for that with varying success of course but um, you'll have to try in each use case all right that's it for this video thanks for watching